Now let's try to solve this intersection related problem. Here we have four set, set A, B, C and D and we need to find out the different types of the intersections here. Uh, let's just start now. We have A intersection B. Okay. So what is the common between A and B? Uh, intersection means uh, the, the, uh, the set with the elements that is common between the two sets. Right? Here A and B. If there are three sets, the common between three sets. If there are four sets, then like, like here. The common between A, C and D. Uh, right, uh, we'll be doing that. So A is here now. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and uh, intersection with B, that is seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. So in both of them, what is the common? Three, five, seven, seven. We have here also nine here, seven, nine, and seven, nine C, and one eleven also. So this 7, 9, 11 is in A also, 7, 9, 11 is in B also. So A intersection B means uh, the, the, uh, the, il, uh, the set made with the elements which are, sh uh, which are common in A and B, right? So 7, 9, 11. You can do the same thing from the Venn diagram also. Alright, uh, now B intersection C means common between B and C. So what is the common between B and C? That should be in B also, that should be in C also. Right, so this is three, five, seven, nine. Now B intersection C. Now we need to make the set uh, of elements which are common between B and C. If you see in B, we have seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. If you see in C, we have eleven, thirteen, fifteen. All right. So let's write B first here. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Intersection C. In C we have 11, 13 and 15. So now common between both, which are the numbers which are common between both. Now 7, 9, 11, 11. Just 11 we have here. And th yeah, 13 also. 11, 13 and 11, 13. These are the two numbers common between both. So our answer is 11, 13. Alright. This is my curly bracket. <laughs> Looking like she horse. Now A intersection C, intersection D. So what is the thing common between A, uh, C and D? Okay, so I'm first writing A. A we have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Uh, intersection C. C we have 11, 13 and 15. And intersection D, 15 and 17. Okay, so what is the uh, number which is in uh, A also, which is in C also and which is in D also. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. 11 is here. 3, 5, 11 is here but not here. Means none of the number. Nothing is common between them. Nothing is there. Empty. You can say phi. Alright. Nothing is common. So A intersection C intersection D is phi. Now what is the common between A and C? In A we have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 intersection with C. Uh, we had 11, 13, and 15. So what is the common between these two? Yes, we got the common thing that is 11 is here also, 11 is here also. So we have only one 11 common between A and C. So this is the intersection. Now intersection between B and D. So what is B are? Our B is 7, 9, 11, 13. 7, 9, 11, 13. Intersection with D. That is 15 and 17. Again, we got nothing because in seven nine uh, in A we have seven nine eleven thirteen and here we have fifteen sixteen that's seventeen. Nothing is common again, so it is phi. Now the next one A A intersection A. What is our A? Our A is three five seven nine eleven intersection B union C. B union C means all the elements of B and C must be there. The set with B elements of B and C. Alright? And there should not be repetition. You know that. So in B we have 7, 9, 11, 13. 7, 9, 11, 13. And now elements of C. 11, 13 already mentioned here. 15. So this is our B union C. Okay? Keep in mind this is your B union C. Okay, so now what is the common thing between uh, uh, this one and this one? So 7, 9, 11 here also, 7, 9, 11 here also. So answer is 7, 9, 11. Alright? Now A intersection D. What is the common between A and D? Nothing. Again, we get phi. Because here it is 3, 5, 7, 
9, 11, intersection with 15 and 17, 15 and 17. So nothing is matching here. These both are disjoint sets. So again you get 5. And now we have A, B union D. So um, I want to do here. So A, if I'm going to write first. And in A, I have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Intersection with B union D. B union D means elements of B complete and D should be there. Complete elements of B and D. So in B we have 7, 9, 11, 13. 7, 9, 11, and 13. And now the elements of D we have 15 and 17. Right? 15 and 17. So now what is the common in both? So common in both 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Yes, 7, 9, 11 here. And 7, 9, 11 here. And anything more? No. Alright, because 3 and 5 is not here. This is 13 and 15. So answer is 7, 9, 11. Now A intersection B and B union C. So let's first write A uh, uh, intersection B. So A intersection B, uh, we have already found out that is 7, 9, 11. 7, 9, 11. Alright. Intersection B union C. B union C also have written, I think, somewhere here it is. B union C. Uh, that is 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. So what is now common between this and this? Again, 7, 9, 11 here. Alright. Uh, and 7, 9, 11 here. So 7, 9, 11. This is our answer. And now the last one we have A union D. Alright, A union D means all the elements of A and D. A union D. Okay, so let's write A union D. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. This is A and elements of D. Elements of D is 15 and 17. 15 and 17. And now intersection B union C. All the elements of B and C. Here we have already written that is 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Alright. 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. So now what is common between these two? The common thing between two is, yes, 7, 9, 11, 15. And here, 7, 9, 11, and 15. So our answer is 7, 9, 11, and 15. This is how we need to find out the intersections. And you can do the same thing with the help of the Venn diagram also. Alright, uh, related the vein diagram. In the next video, I'll try to do one with the vein diagram also, that uh, so that you can understand how we can solve the intersection related problem with the vein diagram also. Okay, so catch you in the next video. If there is any problem while uh, understanding this video, then please feel free to comment just below this video. Alright, catch you in the next video. Goodbye.